Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Bowl. I'm one of the doctors on the ward today. Mm -hmm. Thank you for talking to me today. Can I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I'm uh, Henry Woodhouse and I'm 63. Fantastic. Nice to meet you, Mr Woodhouse. Um, so, I've just come to see you today. I've left my bleep, so it's just the two of us and we've got this time together. Mm. Um, I've come to talk to you about something that's quite serious, but okay. very important to talk about. <coughs> All right. Okay? Yes. Now, um, do you want to just, because we haven't met before, tell me a little bit about what's been happening over the last few weeks? Um, yes, well, it's all been happening rather quickly, to be honest. Um, mm. I was fit and well, and then suddenly started to go downhill. And, then I'm told I've got a cancer and I'm in here having the chemotherapy. And how are you feeling now? Well, it's too early to say whether, you know, the chemo's done much good. I'm still feeling very washed out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. But I'll have the surgery and that'll sort things out. Okay. Um, so I work with the oncology team at the moment and we've been looking after your care while you've been here. And my understanding is that you have pancreatic cancer? Yes. Okay. And do you understand the extent of your cancer? Where, where your cancer is? Well, the pancreas. Okay. So um, your cancer is not just in your pancreas, it's also in other places in your body. Right, yes. Unfortunately, it has spread outside your pancreas. Now, I know that you mentioned surgery yes. at the moment. Because your cancer has spread outside the pancreas, surgery is not an option for you. But I'm, you know, I've been so fit and well that I, I think I could survive it, so I'm quite happy to go with it, take the risk. Okay, I, I understand that. Um, and it's not necessarily about the risk of the surgery. It's that having the operation wouldn't change that you had the cancer. The chemotherapy that we're providing for you is slowing the growth of your cancer. And that, at the moment, is more important than surgery to remove part of the cancer. And it, surgery would only remove part of the cancer, not all of it. But that would be better than leaving it all in there, surely? It's, it's a difficult thing um, to treat cancer, but in your particular case, surgery is not the right way forward. And the team have decided that chemotherapy is your best option, is your best treatment at the moment, to slow the progress of your cancer. So you're saying no surgery? No surgery, I'm afraid, no. Well, from where I'm sitting, this looks like you're basically saying you're giving up on me. I know it can feel like that, and there has been a lot of information and a lot of things have changed over the last few weeks. But I want to... Yes, do you know, it's only a matter of months ago that I was running a triathlon. I came first in my age group. I was so proud of myself. Understandably. And I want to reassure you that we're, there's, no one is giving up on anything. You are receiving chemotherapy, which we think is the right treatment for you, for your right. cancer. And we will continue to provide that chemotherapy for now. Okay? Right. Now, the conversation I wanted to have with you, oh, though, yes. today, it, it is quite serious. Okay? At the moment, your cancer is being treated with the chemotherapy to slow its progress. Because we can't cure your cancer, in the future, you may continue to become more unwell. The conversation I'd like to have with you today yes. is about your thoughts on resuscitation. Now, have you ever heard of resuscitation before? Well, yes, I, I'm quite a, an avid fan of the medical dramas on television mm -hmm. when I'm not writing my book. Um, that's the, you know, the pressing on the heart, and the, isn't it? Yes. Yes. That... Seems to work there. So, in reality, the resuscitation is, as you say, pressing down on some, yes. a patient's chest, on someone's chest, giving them drugs and occasionally shocking them, if that's the right thing to do at the time. Now, unfortunately, resuscitation, or CPR is another name for it, yes. cardiopulmonary resuscitation, is only successful in a very small number of patients. The process of CPR can be very upsetting and traumatic for patients, most often not successful, the medical team, the team looking after the patient, make a decision as to whether or not we think it's the best thing for a patient. Okay. And in your case, the medical team have made the decision that we do not think it's the right thing to do for you 
that if your heart stops beating, we will try to restart it with the chest compressions or the shocks. So you've already made that decision? We think it's the right thing to do, in your case, with your cancer. So suddenly from talking about chemotherapy and possible surgery, we're now talking about the very end. What sort of time frame are we looking at here? It's very difficult for me to, to give you that answer, okay? There's your own chemotherapy treatment at the moment, yes. and it's, it's very difficult to say. But it's important that we have these conversations now while you're well, and we can talk honestly and openly about it. And if you have any concerns, we can talk about them now, rather than in the future, if yes. you become too unwell to talk about them. Well, I guess if my heart stops beating, you can't really ask me then what you want me to do, I see, yes. And I'm finding this a little bit overwhelming, all the, you know, I, I had hoped for surgery and I had thought that was a possibility and, and, and now that you're taking that away and you're talking about... I th I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I, I would like a second opinion. No disrespect or anything. None whatsoever. And I'd abs I would support you in, in that if you wanted to get a second yes, opinion. Please. As I said, this has been a very difficult time for you. There's a lot happened over yeah, the last quickly. few weeks. And, and then, you know, as everything happens and all this information comes your way, it yes. can be very difficult to kind of take it all in in one go. Yeah. We're happy for you to speak to somebody else, but as a team, we believe, and we've made the decision that resuscitation would not be the right treatment yes. for you if your heart stopped yes. beating. Okay. Even if we manage to restart your heart with resuscitation, often the damage done by your heart stopping means that your quality of life is poor. Mm. In some cases, people do not wake back up. And in most people's cases, their heart will stop again. So as a result, we do not think that in your case, performing resuscitation is the right thing to do. When you put it like that, I believe you. <laughs> mm. Gosh, it changes things, doesn't it? Yeah. Do I have to make a decision now? We're not asking you to make a decision on whether you have resuscitation or not. That is the decision of the medical team. It's the decision of the doctors looking after you and the people who work with us as well in your care. It is not your decision to make oh. and I'm not asking you to make that decision. Oh, I see. Okay. We want to let you know what, what, we, what we have decided mm. so that we can talk to you about it now and so that you're just aware of that. Yes. And we can talk to your wife as well, and we can support a conversation between you so that she also knows. Yes. Yeah. I, I think it would be good if you could... because I'm not sure I would know how to put it. Absolutely. Uh, Is there anything else I can help with today? Do you have any other questions? No, no, that's um, quite overwhelming, really. I need to think about it and read about it, yeah. It's, it's quite difficult to realise we're talking about me here, you know. I can understand that. Yeah. Now, we've talked about a lot today. Yes. Just so I make sure that you understand everything we've talked about and we've not missed anything out, would you mind just summarising what we've gone over today? Oh, goodness me. Um, the pancreatic cancer has just spread. Um, the chemo's slowing the progress down, but it's not curable, is your word, yes? Yes. Um, you're suggesting no to surgery, but I would like to just check that out. Um, and then we've been talking about resuscitation and whether that's a good thing, but I have a feeling that if I'm at that stage and my heart stops, then there isn't any point, is there? But yes. And, and that's, how the, that's how the team feels, and, and I'm, I'm glad that we've had this chat today. I'm, I'm happy to talk to you and your wife next time you're in, yes. and I'm going to give you some information as well about everything that we've talked about today and what it all means and what yes. will happen for going down the line as well. Okay? Yes. Thank you very much for talking to me today. Oh, right. Do you have any more questions at all? No, I just thinking this is very difficult for you to have to keep coming and talking to patients about things like this. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.